everybody. Um, so I wanted to record me going to my uh, concealed license class. Um, I wanted to use the camera, but the camera died. I ain't charge it. I'm already out here getting gas, um, getting some food. I'm about to head there now. Um, I want to show y'all what it looked like. This is my first time going. I don't know what to expect or what it looked like. So stay tuned for that. And um, when I get there, I'm going to show y'all what it looked like. So bear with me because I'm recording off the phone. About to get this good old breakfast. Good old sandwich and stuff and go shoot. Go tear some shit. Get it. Thank you, man. Thank you, bro. Alright y'all, I'm back on the camera, back on the camp, I uh, finally made it to this range, this junk is huge bro, it's like some, uh, what, is it, what did it say, rifle associations or something, um, and then this junk is at the lowest level of the garage, which is weird to me bro, I don't know, Set me up out of here, bro. Okay, word. So I done made it to the junk, y'all. This is what it looked like. I ain't went in yet. But this junk is like under a parking garage on the lowest level, which is creepy, bro. I ain't been to no underground shooting range before. But hey, uh, I guess we'll, um, we'll see how it is. Uh, I'm 20 minutes early. So let me just give y'all a quick rundown on what to expect. So me and my wife trying to uh, go ahead and do YouTube. Uh, we already, she already started a little YouTube, but it's only been like snippets up there, small contact created stuff or whatever, stuff like that. So, um, we want to go ahead and start making vlogs. We really wanted to start with pranks. That's where it started from pranks. And then, you know, we kind of just moved over to vlogs as well. We want to do vlogs and all of that. I want to do hot box Q and A's, you know, sit down talks and all that so um we want to do all of that um we just ventured over to vlogs as well because um you know we starting to see that um you know youtube and social media and all that stuff is starting to be a big income you know twitch and all of that stuff and um to me personally i feel like this door is open right now for social media and everything else for people to get paid and all of this other thing. I feel like this door is open right now and you don't know how long this door is going to be open for. You know, you know, never know. They may hit you with something else where they try to stop us from getting paid or try to stop something or anything or something, bro. So I feel like, bro, you should just try to get on everything you possibly can. Any type of social media. Um, if you see a vlog or a video and you look at it and be like man i can do that better do it do that junk bro do it um you'll be surprised at the uh outcome you get from it um i've been trying to just do short skit comedy stuff or whatever and that's then pulled me in a lot of good directions so i would definitely say do it because i was just doing it on some on some on some bull for real but you know they ended up turning into something else so i really advise people to um really look into that really look into that um 
I don't want to talk y'all head off. Um, I wonder if I can record in here, because if I can, I'm going to show y'all what this class look like. Show y'all what it looks like in here. Um, what time we got? We got 10 minutes. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can go in 10 minutes early. Let's see if I can record. Officer here at NRA. Do that several days of the week. Uh, when I'm not doing that, I uh, teach Virginia's concealed carry class. I also teach DC, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Texas, and Tennessee. Six different states concealed carry courses I teach on a on a pretty regular basis. Uh, but I have to say, Virginia's is one of my favorite. It is a it's a happy class. I get to tell you about all the right. Most judges and juries are going to say, if you had the time and mental wherewithal to fire a warning shot, you had the time and mental wherewithal to handle it differently, right? And I would tend to agree. Shooting to wound is a bad idea because, frankly, <laughs> that is not your decision to make. I am not a combat veteran. I certainly work with a lot of combat vets here. Great guys. And they all tell me some very crazy stories about guys, like, getting shot. All right, y'all, we back. I got a 10-minute break right now. Um, they just going over what we can and basically what we can not do. Um, I'm in this class. I, she's telling us the laws and everything that we can or cannot do. Funny thing is, I've already, uh, I've already been told some of the laws in here by one of my bosses I used to work for. He was like an ex-Marine or something like that. And he used to have a lot of guns and flamethrowers and whatnot. So he was the one that really had encouraged me to do this, to get my permit. And uh, they're just going over a lot of laws, bro. A lot of a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of stuff. Y'all gonna see that in the video when I post that. But um, this is just me for the 10 minute break and whatnot. Um, so I thought I couldn't record in there, but I mean, I kind of can and I kind of can't record, you know? I can record as long as it's not, like, evitable that I'm recording because I've already been recording bits and pieces in there since I've been in there. But um, I ain't been recording too much in there because I'm more so trying to just make sure I know what they talking about and stuff. So I, that way I know what I can and I cannot do. But some of it I already knew about. Some of it I already knew about the laws and stuff. And all of that. Shit, I, I knew about all of that when I was dealing with my wife's dad. When I was dealing with him. Or whatever. I had to make sure I was brushed up on the law. So that way I know what I can and cannot do. Cause won't nobody about to do nothing to me. And oh, but yeah, we ain't even gonna dive in that. Um, yeah, so I'm back with this little ten minute break. Um, I'm gonna try to record while I'm in there. I'm gonna try to get some stuff, bro. Hopefully, nobody see me recording or think I'm some weirdo or something or. One of those fanned out people that always record everything or they always been somewhere they never been like because i be seeing those folks i be hating those fanned out people that be sitting over there gotta take out the camera and record everything all the bro just enjoy the moment man they gotta record everything dog but yeah we going back grass or shoulder blade you might be 
you try to wound this person and you end up killing them anyway. So the only reason we are ever squeezing a trigger on another human being is because you are prepared to take that person's life. All right? Warning shots and shooting to wound are a no-no. This is also a good place to tell you, if you happen to have what we call a negligent discharge in your home, meaning you bumped off around when you didn't mean to, whatever you do, please do not call the cops and go, all right, so, funny story. <laughs> all right, if y'all get reports about gunshots, don't worry about it. It was just me. I accidentally bumped off around while I was cleaning it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, they are going to worry about it. They're going to worry about it. They're going to show up. They're going to arrest you for illegal discharge of a firearm, and they're going to confiscate all of your firearms. So if that happens to you, I, I don't know, if the cops show up at your front door and say, hey, we got reports of a gunshot in here. Uh, uh, pick the neighbor you like the least. You know, hey, I think it came from over there. <laughs> where the lawn hasn't been mowed in three months. Yeah, that one over there. ordeal ended in a positive way. When I say it ended in a positive way, I mean she made it through the physical fight, which as your instructor, that is my absolute number one goal. If you don't make it through the physical fight, the mental and emotional fight and the legal and financial fight will never be fought, right? That is our number one goal, to make it through the physical fight. And in order to do that, you have to train. I know that, of, I mean, I've had thousands of students at this point, I've been doing this a little while. I've had thousands of students in these classes and I'm willing to bet that half actually go and get the permit and probably even fewer still actually end up carrying on a regular basis for whatever reason, you know, either they decide this isn't the responsibility for them they don't like paperwork, yada yada, you name it. I mean, 51 people paid to be here today. There are not 51 of you here. <laughs> so that just shows you um, sometimes it's, you know, just to show it up for the class is the hard part. But you have to train. You absolutely have to train. The best training you can do, frankly, you can do for free at home. And that <coughs> is practicing your holster draw strokes. Getting to your firearm in the middle of an attack is your number one hurdle. This person is attacking you. They're right on top of you. <coughs> Getting to your gun will be your number one obstacle. And then drawing that firearm in a meaningful way that you can then utilize that firearm to defend yourself is also going to be quite the hurdle. Everyone just thinks, oh, I'm just going to whip out a gun and I'm going to win. It's going to be easy. No. No, it is not. And it's not just a matter of getting it out of the holster. It's getting it out of the holster in a meaningful way. Uh, I'm going to give everyone my card um, before the end of the class in case you want to take other um, concealed carry courses or you want to come back for some one-on-one -on -one training. I don't care if you come back to me or you go to somebody else or you just practice at home on your own. You need to train. If you've never done this before, then you are not yet in a place where you can be of any good to anyone with that firearm, right? Practice your holster draw strokes. I can't emphasize that enough, <coughs> y'all. You have to do that. And you can do it for free at home. Just sit in front of the TV, watch football, maybe close the shades so the neighbors don't think you lost your mind. <laughs> and just sit there and practice getting that baby. All right, y'all. I'm out that long ass class. Damn, that don't. Want, I ain't know that class was gonna be that long for real. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know that jump was gonna was gonna even be like that. Uh, I thought it was only gonna be like an hour, maybe 30 minutes, but they was trying to cover so much shit. Like it's so much stuff that you need to know about when carrying a gun and stuff bro it's just so much stuff bro but they also was telling us the loopholes that you can get past and stuff like going like being on school grounds with one you know they told us a little loophole you can get around that 
and all that other stuff. But um, like if you picking up your kids and stuff. But um, I did not think it was that long. Then the class was to get certified in like what 45, 48 states. One of them we don't have certification for is DC and Maryland. Like DC and Maryland, it's a different class you gotta take. You gotta do it for 16 hours. You gotta have it on record that you did it for 16 hours. If you ever want uh, legally to have a firearm in DC or Maryland, you have to take a class. They getting you off the rip. And it was also telling me don't ever get caught in Chicago with an unloaded gun in your car. It does not matter if the bitch is not loaded, not loaded. That bitch could just sit there and not even have a clip to it, bro. They, they hitting you with a felony charge. It doesn't even matter, bro, which is crazy to think that I could have a, a, a gun with no bullets, and that's it. So, you know what I'm saying? That's just something to just look out on, be aware of. Uh, for the most part, the um, class was good. Class was good. Now, I'm trying to get this prank game on my way. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to really be able to do it. Kind of pressed for time right now. I done left her with the boys. And I know she is waiting for me to show up. I'm trying to think about what can I do quick or if I can do anything quick, but hmm, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. I don't, I don't really know. I know I want to do something, I want to record something. I just don't know what yet. I'm gonna get back to y'all when I find out what that is. I'm gonna get back to you.